Hey everybody, this is Mark from Drawn and Drafted. We talk a lot about how important it is to have a very clean, clear website for your art. And we have over the years pointed a lot to Squarespace. It's very, very easy to create a website. They have lots of very clean templates. It's drag and drop, no coding, easy to use. And now we're excited because we're bringing you a special discount from Squarespace and this video, which is gonna show you how to create your portfolio in literally just a few minutes with no code at all. So if you click on the link in the show notes or in this video, you'll be taken to a page where we'll give you the discount and a special PDF freebie, which we're also excited about. But right now, I'm gonna show you real quick, just a couple minutes. It's gonna take about 10 minutes, but that's because I talk a lot. Um, it really just takes a few minutes back to front once you know how to do it. So I'm gonna click get started here on squarespace.com and I'm gonna make a website. Uh, I could make an online store, but that's another video, and you can always add a shop to your website if you just start with a basic website. No need to do it right away. So you go right to these templates when you say you wanna start a website. And there's lots of templates here. Me almost all of them are gonna be are gonna be pretty good for your portfolio, but I would go with something simple. Um, one of these guys at the top, so I'll just pick native as a random example, and I'm gonna click live preview just to make sure I like it. Um, sure enough, this is a one column template, pretty basic. Um, it's got a pretty basic about page that I can edit for myself. It's got um, a nice little portfolio already built in that I can just replace with my images. So I'm going to start with this design up at the top left. Uh, I'm gonna use an existing account because I already created an account here that I'm, just, I'm not gonna create a new account. Uh, you would create a new account. And I'm gonna enter my password, which is her, her, her. And it's gonna pull me into the new site creator. And it says, welcome. It says, okay, so what category? It's a portfolio. I am an artist. What am I doing? Well, I might sell some products. I might uh, announce an event, get hired, showcase my work. Might write something else fame, fortune and glory. And I'm gonna call it Mark's Art. Let's say done. And my website is ready to go. Uh, it's all the stuff that I just saw is already there. Now I'm gonna wanna erase some of this stuff and add my own stuff. For example, I don't want this blog, not right away, I haven't figured out what I'm gonna put on there. So I'm just gonna take this blog over here in the home that you notice I just clicked on pages and I go to the blog and I just drag it down to the not linked section and it disappears from the navigation. I can always come back to that later. I can even build it out right here. I'm still editing the blog, but just nobody's gonna see it on the live site. So now I'm gonna create a page that I'm gonna use as my home page. Uh, very simple splash page, so I'm just gonna call it home. And then when I hit enter to change the name, it takes me to the home page. Now you'll notice Squarespace when I'm in here, I'm in, I'm in both the viewer and the editor at the same time, which is great. So I'm gonna, as I roll over, I can edit any of this stuff. I can edit the navigation, the title, but I'm gonna go into the page content area where it says page content and click edit. Uh, and I'm gonna add, I wanna add an image that's just kind of the main image that goes to my portfolio. So I'm gonna click on, uh, these little bubbles on the left are where you can select things to add. I click it and it pulls up all the different things that I can add. Um, you can explore those in your own time, but right now I'm just gonna click image and it pulls up a little which image do you want? Okay, so I can drag and drop in here, but I'm just gonna grab an image. Um, I happen to have an image ready to go here, uh, one of my recent paintings. So I'm gonna add that, and I have it already sized to the right size. You can always resize it in here. You can click edit on the image uh, in the image editor and change the size. You can do lots of effects on it. Uh, I'm gonna remove the caption. Um, I, can, I can tell it to stretch, which I don't want it to do because it's, uh, it's gonna pixelate. I can not do lightbox because we keep talking about how lightboxes are not so good. And so I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna hit save. And now my homepage is done. When you land on my homepage, this is what it's gonna look like. Awesome. This is really great. Art directors will get here. They'll immediately see the kind of stuff that you can do. Uh, I'm gonna go to my about page now. And I can click edit or I can always just double click when I'm in the editor in, 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 in an area if I wanna edit it. So uh, I wanna change the image. I'm gonna double click the image I'm going to, um, I'm going to find, it's going to pull up the image. I'm actually going to remove this 
and add a new image again. I can just drag and drop in there if I feel like it, but I'm going to remove it, add a new one. I'm going to have a little uh, illustration here from artist Vin and Ganapathy. Now I can have a caption below too, and I can, uh, I'm going to hit apply, and I could write my caption and say, art, uh, copyright, Vin Ganapathy, nice little portrait he did of me. And then I'll double click down here and I'll say Mark is from Brooklyn and I can add whatever I want there. Down here I can say all content, you know, copyright Mark Chef if I feel like it or not. Um, and then this page I hit save and now my about page is done. And it, obviously you can go and say whatever you want here. It's very easy when you're double clicking and just working in text to, you know, to format the text and do it, anything you need. So now I'm going to go to the images section. And uh, this is a gallery. Uh, it's a special kind of page called a gallery page. Uh, and you can also just create a page and add a gallery. Either one will work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna edit this. Um, now this knows that it's an example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my own gallery uh, and I'm gonna click there and add an item. I happen to have a couple items here that I've prepared at about 800 pixels high which is going to be good for most screens. It pulls them in here and until the images come up it says we can't find the page you're looking for which is fine but give it a second it'll refresh and it'll show it'll show the the full portfolio page. So if you click on the images page I get my full portfolio here. Uh, it's, it looks like it's loading that last image and that's and that's done. My website's done. So that was what three minutes? Um, if you want to get fancy, you can always you can always uh, erase this page and add your own page. So you know, if I wanted to move this images page, I'll just I'll just move it down here to not linked for now in case I want to add it later. Um, I'll go to the main navigation. I'll add a page. Now you can also add a special gallery type page, but even within a specific page, I can just if I want to, I can just uh, I can just add images one at a time, same as I did before. I can go into image and click add image and add each of these images one at a time and uh, when that image I don't know I think I hit it too soon so that image uh, is gonna come up here or uh, I can delete that yes and I can also I can also add a gallery and I can pick one of these gallery formats um, I don't particularly like these as much as the gallery page but I can click upload images pick the same images that I had before uh, wait till they all get uploaded. Now these are pretty small, so it'll just take a second, and you'll see they'll show up in this, in this, uh, in this gallery format. And I can hit apply, uh, and and when I view the page, which you know, which I can do straight from here, um, I can see exactly how it's going to look. I can also change the height of the gallery if I want to have the images be a little bit larger. Um, I can edit the gallery, and I can click on design, and I can change the different kind of you know gallery that it is on a specific page. I'll hit apply and I'll hit save um, and I've got this images page down here if I decide I don't like this I can always move the portfolio down here and then move this this images page back up and look I can also change where it lands in the navigation so I'm going to double click that I'm also going to change this to portfolio so that the link says portfolio which is what I actually want um, and I can also edit this gallery same as I edited the other gallery but this is a special page that is just just a gallery and I can and I can click on settings and change the settings for 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 this page and, and play around with that but really my site is done at this point uh, people can come here they can look at my art it's nice and clean if I want to see what it looks like for other people I can click this little arrow here and it'll just give me um, it'll give me a very clean uh, it'll give me a very clean look at what what my site looks like so there's my portfolio there's my about page um, I pull the arrow here and I go back and I'm done. Now, for those of you who already have a domain registered and you're thinking about switching to Spare Squarespace, it's very, very easy to transfer your domain. It's no longer a thing that you need to hire a computer scientist like me to do. You can just go here uh, into Settings on the left, click on Domains, and, and say Connect a third-party domain. Um, now, I have a domain called markchef.com, and I click Continue. And then I just say, you know, where it's hosted. I'm at DreamHost. If you have one of these other, lots of other options here. And when you, I'm not going to do this, but when you click Connect Domain, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to log in to your registrar and what information exactly to enter so that when people go to, you know, yourname.com, 
they'll end up at your Squarespace site and it'll look like your name.com. It's not going to be a forwarding thing. It's actually going to be your URL. Um, so the registrar is going to point to this Squarespace as the host. That's pretty much it. Um, like I said, the first three minutes of this video were, were all you need to, uh, to come up with a, with a brand new website. And um, there's lots of things you can go and you can tweak in here. You can add a store. Um, you can add you know, all kinds of galleries, forms, you know, all, all kinds of different stuff. It's really, it's really pretty robust. We think that this is the best solution. Again, if you click on the link in the show notes or in the video, you'll get a 10% discount on new Squarespace accounts and another special freebie from us. And we look forward to seeing you guys on Squarespace. If you have questions, please post them in the comments here. And thanks so much for watching and good luck.